tonight, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I found something cool out. Uh, that I, Another thing that I thought I'd show you guys, it's uh, basically how to integrate your Google Voice account with your iPod Touch uh, seamlessly. Basically, you get the iPhone app, and also you can actually integrate, uh, you know, you get the, I, the iPhone app, the SMS app, and you can integrate that with your with your iPod Touch. Let me let me just show you what I'm talking about, and I'll, and I'll give you a tutorial on how to do this. Um, okay, I'll, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to get the actual messaging app on there, and also how to uh, to seamlessly integrate that with your Google Voice account. Um, right now, it's already it's already done, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Uh, okay, it's going to be fun. For tutorial purposes, I went ahead and uh, undid everything that I did. Um, you're going to need to get a few city of sources first off. Uh, in order to integrate your Google Voice account, uh, your, inter uh, your Google Voice account with the SMS app, you're going to have to get an extension. Uh, it is called SMS GV. It's right there. It's basically the uh, just a moment here. SMS GV extension. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's I believe it's one ninety nine, and uh, you can get that on the uh, the this the uh, Insidia. Next thing that you need to do is you need to either have an SSH client um, or iFile. I have iFile because it's a lot easier than you know, basically uh, SSHing. Uh, if you don't know how to SSH, go ahead and just YouTube it. Uh, there's a lot of things on there. Just type in iPod or iPhone SSH, and you're going to find a bunch of things. Um, but uh, if you don't want to ha go through that hassle, here's iFile for you. Uh, where you want to go is you want to go to the very beginning, just basically where it's a slash. Sometimes it... Uh, it'll it'll start at bar, so you need to go back to the very beginning, and you need to go to system, library, core services, springboard.app, and then you need to scroll down to the ends. Uh, it's way down there here. Let's see. Okay. And you need to find a file named n81ap.plist. Uh, okay, and you're going to open it up in a text viewer. If you're on your computer, you're just going to open up in you know a text viewer. Uh, and we're going to add a code. It needs to be under key uh, capabilities. Uh, so it needs to be under there. So if it's anywhere else... It won't work, and it'll probably crash your iPod. You're gonna have to restore it, or uh, something like that. Um, so it needs to be under capabilities. What we're gonna do is we're gonna edit, and we're gonna add it, add that code, which I already have um, copied here. And the code is gonna be in the in the description. Um, just a moment here. Return. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in. There it is. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I gotta get this. Uh, you're just gonna put it right under capabilities. So that's how it's gonna look, guys. I'm sorry if that looks a little blurry. I can't make that bigger. And my camera's. Yeah, anyway. Um, okay. So it's gonna be under capabilities and it's gonna say key. SMS, um, and then basically the ad, the uh, forward slash key, uh, and then under that you're going to have true, and then uh, forward slash. And like I said, I'm going to put that in the description. Uh, hit done. Then uh, just respring. Um, I just have this little app here. You can use the SP settings, whatever you'd like, to respring your device. What is once it has resprung? You're going to see the uh, iPhone app, 
and also you'll notice a button. Uh, I never mind. Just a second here. That was whenever I was messing around before. Okay, you're now going to notice the messaging app. I also got Byte SMS so that whenever uh, an incoming message comes. So let's go. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and send a message here to my phone. <coughs> Okay, um, hello. Okay, it goes, I went ahead and sent it. And I get it on my phone, which you'll see. There you go. Okay, and then I can reply to that, and you'll see uh, with Byte S SMS, it should go ahead and put in a little, um, thing there for me to reply right there in the bubble that pops up. I believe it does. There you go. Right there. Okay. And um, it also gives you an option to call, but that doesn't work as of right now. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way to, to get, get it to uh, also call via Google Voice. There is an actual application for it. It's called Phone... Um, dot uh, f it's called phone gv extension i'm not sure how to get that to work for ipod touch as of yet but once i do i'll go ahead and post it one more thing that you need to do before i end this video is uh, you need to go to google uh, sms gv extension and you need to enter in your uh, your username and your password for google voice or else you will not be able to actually send out uh, send out messages. So that is the tutorial. If you have any questions at all, guys, uh, either personal message me or leave it in the comments. Um, if anything's not clear, just tell me and I'll try to make it a little bit more clear. Also, uh, special thanks to uh, X RK uh, ID double X on. Uh, on the forum that I was looking at for for this for how to figure it out, um, he was a lot of help in, in in helping me figure it out. So, kudos. Anyway, uh, talk to you guys later.